Welcome to another MTD CNC Technical Corner. Now today we're going to be talking about the production manager's role in a machine shop or a manufacturing house. Um, there's kind of two things a production manager has to do is make sure that machines are running correctly today, but also that um, parts that have been sent out or products that have been sent out um, that may get recalled or get bad customer feedback um, are traced properly and find out that actually it was a piece of material that came in wrong or cast, cast parts came in that have been subsequently machined and then haven't worked for some reason. Um, but Rob, first of all, what is a production manager's um, what is a production manager's job and how is it traditionally how is it traditionally done? So once a production process is set up and proved out and so on, it's then the production manager's role uh, to step in and look after the day-to-day -day production of the shop floor. Um, so they are interested in you know what is happening uh, at each machine or each cell, each location on the shop floor. Uh, and how uh, efficient and, and effective everything is and, and, and monitoring that uh, on, a, uh, on, a, on a, a regular basis. Now, from a traditional point of view, again, trying to find out what's going on the shop floor, um, just as a manufacturing engineer might do, a production manager will have to go to the shop floor, walk around and see what's going on, you know, which, which machine is running, which job, what's going on, how far through the job are they, getting that information uh, anecdotally in some cases just to simply find out, uh, find out what's happening. And that's not easy. So, um, so what you really want to do is try and capture that, that information in a much more efficient way. And you can do that digitally uh, with a manufacturing execution system such as ProdSmart. Okay, and what is a manufacturing execution system, just briefly? So a manufacturing execution system is a, uh, a software system that is laser focused on monitoring the execution of your manufacturing processes. Okay, perfect. Laser focus, which is good. We want to make sure that um, machines are running properly and everyone knows what state the machines are in. Um, how does ProSmart help with that? So we have a mobile interface that the shop floor workers interact with. They basically fill in the information. So they fill in information such as when they're starting a job, when they've completed a job, how many parts they've completed, how long it took. So when they start and end a process, it automatically populates that time. All that data is gathered and collated uh, into the, the ProSmart uh, web interface, so we host it on the cloud, and a production manager can see that information in real time. Um, now, we have a series of dashboard displays that allow you to see um, effectively a snapshot of what's happening on the shop floor. So we can see OEE here, which is a mix of uh, three different measures. Yes. But what is OEE and why is it important? So OEE is your overall equipment effectiveness. So this is identifying how everything on your shop floor is working in terms of the productivity of your your, uh, your shop floor, the availability of, uh, of your shop floor and your, your uh, capacity that you have, uh, and then combine that with the, the quality to get a calculation that derives how effective your equipment is uh, in terms of your production. So these dashboards give lots and lots of information as it's filled in in the, in the mobile interface. The production manager can see this information and get an indication of, of, uh, in real time of what's happening. Um, there's also a constant feed of information so they can see when jobs have started, how far jobs are through, so whether it's work in progress, and identify uh, where they are in the, in the production process. And another thing that production managers need to worry about, as well as kind of what's happening on the shop floor right now, is what has happened historically. So they might have product recalls they've got to deal with, or uh, a part has gone out and it's somehow managed to get through the quality process, um, even though it might not, might not be a correct part. How can you help with tracing those, those kinds of components? And why is traceability uh, actually important? Well, traceability is important. I think uh, a lot of companies might sort of sit back and go, well, you know, I produce my part, goes out the door, I'm sure it's fine. And that may have been all well and good in the past, but in this day and age where reputation is, is everything and this, the market is so competitive that if your reputation gets damaged because you produced a bad product, that can have a detrimental effect on your, on your business. Um, so what ProdSmart allows you to do is to capture that information as the part is uh, or a, a component is being produced um, and you can log all of that as, as historical information. So if you find that you're getting uh, maybe sort of customer complaints or information regarding a product that you've produced and that's getting fed back to you, 
If you find that it's come from a specific lot and you start to see more of those coming back, you can go back over your manufacturing process and identify uh, you know, where the, that part was produced, at what point, with which material, from which supplier, and gather that information again to, to, to have a very, very focused recall. So we, we can't help you producing a bad you know, a, a, you know, a, a bad design. You know, that's that's in your realm. But if you're uh, if you're producing a good a, a good design, but you have a, an issue with a recall, then we can help you identify where that lot uh, of problems were and and try and rectify that problem with a with a with a recall that's that's very specific. And to touch on what would happen if you were traditionally tracking those kinds of components. If you didn't know exactly what material batches were made with which parts, you might have to recall a huge number of products rather than if you can trace it exactly a, a very specific set of components. Yeah, and it's it's you know you you could be producing millions of parts a year, and if you've got to re recall all of those as opposed to a batch of fifty thousand, then you can understand the costs associated with that. Um, and again, going to the sort of back to the traditional process, you know, how would you do that traditionally if you were using a paper-based system? Well, you'd go back to the filing cabinet and you'd have a quick look and find out, you know, roughly when you thought it was and then try and basically recall everything that's in that list. It becomes a nightmare to try and try and trace that, uh, that information. But dig doing it digitally makes that process a lot easier. And so for the production managers who watch this and they're interested in trying to make their lives a little bit easier by maybe trying out ProdSmart, how easy is it for them to try it out and how easy will it be to implement in their business? So with ProdSmart, we have a, a free trial. So you can go to our, our website and sign up for a 14-day free trial that allows you to, to at least get up and running. You simply need a web browser and a mobile device if you want to test it on the, on the mobile device. And you can be up and running very, very quickly. We also have a team of, of implementation consultants. So if you want to take it, take it a bit further and get help and, and, and start digitizing your own process, then we have a team that's available to do that as well. So, so yeah, very, very easy takes days to get started as opposed to, to months. Thanks Rob, if you're a production manager who wants to give ProdSmart a go, make sure you check out that free trial.